As you can see, we are live outside the team hotel at St. George's Park. The vibes mm -hmm. are vibing. Absolutely, the excitement is built. As you can see, the staff here have created a guard of honour for the Lionesses as they are about to travel to Manchester for the tournament opener against Austria. And this is Lionesses Live. <laughs> Yes, this is a special one, yeah. In a bit, the Lionesses will be heading to Manchester to play at a sold-out Old Trafford on Wednesday. I'm so excited about this. Jill Scott and Lauren Hemp will be on the show in a bit, so make sure you stay tuned. I feel like this might be carnage, guys, so get ready. And we want you to be involved in this show as much as possible. Do not forget to send in your messages of support. You can do that on YouTube comments or on Twitter using the hashtag Lionesses Live. Yes, but before all that, let's take a quick look at some training as they get ready for the tournament that's about to kick off in just over 48 hours, Josh. Sure. <laughs> One, two, knee. Yeah. Oh, Open up body. Good, good. Like it, Dan. Yes, Look at that, yes, There you go. Perfect. Six, seven. New work. Eight, Keep skipping. Nine. Right. Now, as promised, I did say we'd be talking to Jill Scott and I don't know, she must have overheard us or something because here she is. <laughs> Hello, I'm excited to be on Lioness Live. Oh, good. We're it's so it's happy an to have you here. It's an honour. Second show, departure, first departure show as well. Now, you're heading to Old Trafford. Talk, talk about that. that it's going to be packed, sold out crowd. Mm -hmm. You must be excited. No, I think we are all really excited. I don't think you can imagine nearly 80,000 people inside that stadium. It gives us goosebumps. I don't know if that's because I'm in the car park at the minute. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I think all the girls are just so excited and we can't wait to get there. What are you going to be thinking before you step out onto that pitch? I think in the moment, you just have to focus on the game. Obviously, you want to take in the occasion, but I think we've spoke about not playing to the occasion, enjoying it as much as we can, but focusing on our jobs because we know that we're there to win the game. So, yeah, it'll be hard not to have a little look around, see if you can spot your family. But, yeah, at the end of the day, we're there, obviously, to win the game. Of course. And you scored an amazing header against Switzerland the other day as well. Let's, we're going to actually watch that now. Oh, so brilliant. can you talk us through it? I want to know what was going through your head, everything. Well, to be fair, it was a great ball by Chloe. And then I managed to get on the end of it. But I thought I'd run too early. So that's why I looked so I shocked. I could see, yeah. yeah. I wasn't shocked too much that I'd scored. It was more the fact that I thought I was offside. But yeah, great cross by Chloe. And obviously it was nice to come on and score. But the girls had put in a tremendous shift and obviously made it a little bit easier coming on when you're already winning like 3-0. Yeah, for sure. Looked like a salmon there, by the way. <laughs> I don't know about they that. Managed to stay on side. It's a, it's a beautiful, yeah, well timed oh. run. I don't know why you thought you'd be offside. I nearly didn't get back up, to be honest. I think I was looking for some help from one of the younger ones to pick us you up. You actually did. You looked around before you stood up. I love that. The excitement. It must feel absolutely incredible. I want to ask you, because you, this is not your first rodeo. You know, you made your debut in 2006. You know, you've been around a lot of tournaments. You've got a wealth of experience. But how does playing in, in this tournament feel like compared to maybe others? I think with it being a home one, it's just so much more special. I think in the past when we were in Canada for the World Cup 2015, we were in France 2019, obviously you missed out on a lot of the excitement at home and it's not the same looking at it through your phone, is it, and everything that's going on. And I try and keep off my phone, to be honest, because yeah. I like to be in the moment a lot. So I think, yeah, just obviously you can see everyone gathering here. We didn't really have many of these moments because we were abroad. So I think the fact that it's a home tournament is going to be so exciting and hopefully we can help move women's football to that next level. Yeah, well, Josh did mention you made your senior debut in 2006. So you've got experience in this, you know, you really do. And it shows when you're on the pitch. Do you think there's a good balance of new kids and experienced players? 
Yeah, definitely. I think you need that. I think obviously we need the younger ones for the energy, the excitement, um, and kind of just how chilled they are about going to a tournament. Probably for the older ones, you feel a little bit more pressure. But then I think with that, we can add experience of things that we've been through in previous tournaments and pass that on. But yeah, it's great. I think once we're put on that shirt or we're around here, I forget that I'm 35 and some of the girls are like 19. Age is, no, age. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. when it comes to this, <laughs> age doesn't matter. We're youthful in our hearts. <laughs> it's like we're all 21, just having banter and obviously having a great time because that's what it's about, really. For sure. The pitch. Do you give any of the, the kind of newer squad members, some of them that you play in their first tournament, what kind of advice do you give them? If you, if you give advice at all, I guess. No, you know what? We just had a conversation before. It was me, Demi, Lauren Hemp, Chloe Kelly, and we were just talking about playing in front of large crowds. And my first experience of that was in 2012 in the Olympics, London. I think there was 82,000 there. So I was talking about that and how I felt. And I can't swear, but I was very, very nervous. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice to hear their experiences. Obviously, Chloe was talking about the FA Cup final recently. So I think it's just, it's not like let's sit down and tell you what it's about it's just about sharing experiences how you were feeling in the moment and if they help us by one two percent or we do vice versa then it's definitely a good conversation to have 100 percent. now we spoke to leah yesterday and she said that this is the the best prepared england squad that she's been in going into a tournament do you feel the same yeah i think so we've had so much stuff um people going out of the way for us obviously the staff the fa have put in so much work um, obviously you can see the big send off at the minute so yeah it really has created an environment which is no excuse not to go out there and perform and obviously people talk about winning it and stuff like that I've been to tournaments where VAR by an inch ruled Ellen White's goal offside in the semi-final against America and then there's penalty decisions and stuff like that so yeah. I think that's why we talk about being the most prepared because you can't prepare for every eventuality but you can prepare for a lot of them so yeah I'd have to agree with her she's a captain isn't she <laughs> whatever you tell her I would have agree. Leah's right yeah <laughs> now talking of preparation what are these comments under the Lioness's Instagram post about you losing passports you being late for the bars you forget yet I, sp I spoke to Mido just now and she was like she'd forget ahead if it wasn't screwed on is this true can you you can rebut this to the camera and all those people watching at home. <laughs> no, it is true. We'll just sat up there then and uh, Jess Carter was saying to us, oh, I packed last night. And I was like, do we have to be gone in five minutes? And I was running to pack, but somehow I always seem to survive. Maybe because the girls... <laughs> you were early for this. Yeah, like, you must yeah. have been buzzing to be on the show. Yeah. But they did tell us to get here for half past because they knew it started a quarter two. So that's why I think <laughs> with girls and staff members helping you out then it always makes it a bit easier. Yeah, well, listen, Jill, it's been so amazing chatting to you. I know you've got a head up in a bit, but I know Lauren's here. So I think we should just welcome Lauren to Lioness's yeah. Live, everyone. Let's get a round of applause. Huge round of applause. <laughs> Big round. Where's the round of applause? Come there on. we go. There we go. Lauren, come on. Hey, oh. <laughs> we nearly went through that. Case. Lauren, talk to me. I've heard that you're a bit of a wordsmith. Oh, yeah, a little bit. And you might have been cooking something up. A little bit. Well, I want the attempt to have a rap battle with us. Oh, right? Okay. Oh, oh my God. Oh, you know, this is literally my worst flight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I've got to put you in these uncomfortable situations. Not on here, like two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> There's no right. warm up. Let's You're ready. Go. You ready? Yeah, I'll go first. You ready? <clears throat> Wait, we need oh. Right, tempo. <laughs> Right, Tempo, where do I start? Okay, you're really fast. All right, Jill. But how long are you going to last? Okay, we're getting nasty. Well, your banter's not great. At least I don't try and be everybody's mate. <laughs> wow. All right, all right. So are you going to last till tournament number 10? <laughs> Maybe not, but at least I'll be here again. <laughs> Right, I got done. Is the door this way? Ah, you wait, know what? But you can go everywhere Can I just say, before that. you leave, listen, next time you want to do a rap battle, either of you, I'm down. Right. All right? I'm, I'm down. I'm in it. Better beat them. Huh? You need a better beat them. Oh, <laughs> why? Well, I'm not a beat maker. Going on. Someone. Listen, Lauren, I'm not a producer, all right? I'm a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> you've, you've got to sit in the chair now. You've got to sit in the chair now, so you're in the grilling. Keep switching. Your absolute yeah. pleasure. Right. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Over to you. Don't mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> what, what an entrance, by the way. Thank you. I mean, we've 
been working on that for a while. Oh, really? <laughs> How long? How long exactly? About five minutes. <laughs> It looked like, it sounded like a lot more than like, you know, it sounded like at least half an hour's work. Nah, to be fair, Jill made a bit up and then I just sort of, well, freestyled. attempted to freestyle, but it didn't really work. Do you know what? It, it works well. Now, we've got to get onto football. You know, obviously a huge game coming up, moments away from you departing, SGB and heading to Manchester. What, what's the mood like right now? How are you feeling? Yeah, I think everyone's so excited. I, I just think we can't wait to get the tournament going, really. Obviously, we've had a few weeks of good preparation. We've had some solid games, obviously some great results. So I think we're just itching and getting ready to go, really. Obviously, back in Manchester, both Man City, so I'm excited to go back there as well. So, yeah, I think it's now starting to all feel real, obviously, with so many people here as well. All right, can I just really? ask you to make sure you keep yeah, your mind sorry. up? You want to hear that incredible <laughs> rapping voice. You know, we need to hear clear. it loud. Um, but I wanted to ask you as well, you know, we were just talking to Jill. She's one of the more experienced players on yeah. the squad. This is your first major yeah. tournament that you're going into. Uh, did you get any advice from Jill or any other Lionesses? Yeah, I think it's so good having so many experienced players around me, especially obviously Jill as well, being one of them. and. Got Ellen White, the likes of people like that as well, who are a lot more experienced than me. And obviously, it being my first major tournament, like I'm so excited. I don't particularly feel much pressure, so I'm just going to go there and enjoy it and, and see what happens. Really, yeah, I just can't wait to get going. And obviously, having so many experiences like the Nike Town and things like that, which oh, I love is, that. Like, we love that. For everything, yeah, yeah it's unbelievable. Were really. you doing the candy dance as well? I was attempting to, <laughs> but then once I realised that I weren't as good as everyone else, I just left. <laughs> I need to Smart, go back. back door it. Yeah. <laughs> now, how did it feel when Serena told you you were in the final squad? Because that must have been an incredible feeling. Yeah, it was unbelievable, really. I was waiting there for ages because we obviously got told, but I think I was one of the last to get told, and I was just sat there. I was so nervous, but yeah, to be told that you're in the squad, it's something that you always dream of when you're a young child, and it's something that I definitely did. And for it to be at home Euros as well, like I've got so many members of family coming as well, and I just can't wait to get going, really. Who did you phone first? Who did what? Who did you phone first when you found out? I think it, it was definitely my mum and dad. Yeah, yeah, they're like my biggest supporters, and <laughs> yeah, they're great. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Um, yeah, it was definitely them. Um, I called them straight away, literally as soon as I got told, and they were over the moon, I think. They always love coming to support me wherever I go. So, yeah, I think they can't wait to come to Old Trafford. Was, it, was there a lot of shouting yeah. on the phone? Yeah, definitely. Good. <laughs> Mainly coming from me. Yeah. <laughs> as, as it should. Yeah. As it should. Love that. Now, talk to me. Old Trafford, you're a City fan. How's that going to feel? To be honest, I, I can't wait. Just to play at any major stadium, like, just fills me with so much joy. And... Obviously, I haven't played at Wembley in front of so many fans as well. I can't wait to play at Old Trafford. Obviously, I wouldn't mind it being the Etihad, but <laughs> Old Trafford's going to have to do. Um, no, but I can't wait to just walk out and even the warm-up, just absorb the, the crowd. And hopefully, it's going to be fantastic because obviously, all the group games are sold out. So, yeah, I can't wait. It's going to be great. I, I can know. feel it in my bones. Now, listen, we have been asking the fans to send in messages of support and any questions that they have for you. So I have a few messages of support okay. here that, you know, I think we should I read we should. out. You know what, you up before you get to Manchester. That's what we're supposed yeah. to Yeah, so Vicky Smith has said, good luck in the Euros. We can't wait to come to all the games. Visit in Jill's coffee shop in Manchester tomorrow. Yeah, to be fair, Jill's coffee shop is a place to be. Yeah, I was going to ask, you've been there, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm literally there all the time. <laughs> <laughs> Best yeah. customer. Yeah, to be honest, the coffee's incredible. So anyone who wants to go, big shout out to Box to Box Coffee, get down there. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Love nice that. little plug in there as well. You have to do it. Now, uh, Ryan, uh, HTAFC8, uh, has written Jill Scott and Lauren Hemp. Good luck, ladies, at the Euros. We're all behind you. Now, it must feel great to know that, like, you've seen the billboards up around the country. You've seen even the support here. It, it, must, it must feel incredible to know the whole country's behind you. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's something I've obviously never experienced before. Like, I know that England have organised like us being on billboards and things like that around your hometown, and it's just incredible to see that because when I was a young girl, there wasn't necessarily much visibility of the women's game, and to sort of have that now, and people can see that and look up to you as role models. And obviously, I still feel so young, and I still look up to people like Jill and, and things like that as role models, and to just be one myself just feels pretty incredible as well. That's really lovely. All right, we've got uh, Lulu Edu. Uh, I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, so I apologize if I didn't. But they say, go smash it, girls. No matter what happens, you're doing the nation proud. Aww. Oh, that's really fitting, actually, with what you just asked, what we just spoke about. 
Yeah, it's important that we inspire young girls to want to play football because the more we get involved, the more talent there's going to be and hopefully it will grow the game even more. And Obviously, you've seen over the years how much the women's game has grown and it's crazy to think how far it can go in the next few years and especially it being a home Euros. Hopefully, that will just encourage that to, that growth to be quicker. Definitely. Yeah. You know what? It, it, feel, feeling, the, feeling the love... From the country, it, it, it's amazing, and this tournament feels oh this tournament feels massive. Oh, you know the I mean? gaffer. Obviously, the gaffer. The you know what? We gaffer might Serena. we might have to let you go soon. I feel like the gaffer's got on. Yeah, you yeah. might be in trouble. We don't we, we don't no fines, no nothing. We allow you to. Yeah, to, we don't want no drama. Coach, we don't want to be please. the cause of the drama either. You know, not us. Not on not on day two. Not on day two. Don't <laughs> mind. <laughs> well, Lauren, thank you so much for chatting to us. What are you going to get up to on that coach? I don't know, to be honest, I've downloaded a few episodes of things that I need to catch up on. And I've got a lot of music I'm listening to as well, so yeah, or I might just nap. <laughs> I might just right. nap when I'm on Smart. a coach. You've got to bring the snood on the coach, that was the key. Yeah, exactly. That's the key. The neck pillows. Yeah, neck pillows. Love I'll that. I'll be using that. But Quickly, thanks for having me. What tune are you going to be listening to? Oh, it depends. If I feel like I want to go to sleep, it'll be like quite chill. Mm. But obviously, game day, it's all the upbeat Amps. stuff for me exactly yeah all right well lauren thank you so much for chatting to us it's been a pleasure we're gonna see you soon good luck thank you so much Congrats and <laughs> Take good luck. Care. And everyone is behind you as you can see by all the messages of support so enjoy yourself and get on the coach before we get you in trouble thank you bye <laughs> that was a quick i've got to go <laughs> nice one feel free oh, you can go <laughs> <Don't cry. laughs> now Aww. let's go and ask, ask a another few comments that have been sent because I know we said we'd, we'd, we'd uh, feature you guys on the show so um, I think that's West Ham United Jess WH I, I was about Jess. to say who Jess who a white man <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you know what it's worth full hempo is the best on earth I got yes. there in the end I think that's you know Excuse me, but. Oh, Hempo, it's the best on earth. Yeah. Yeah, you've got to sing it in the tune that it's supposed to be sung in. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So I'll, I'll get better we'll, next we'll, time. We'll, we'll, um, that we'll was quite embarrassing. Um, Phone Graph has actually said, don't make them miss the coach. There we go. Yes, it's that, Leah that's, Williamson. That's Lioness is live OG, by Chatted the way. Chatted to her yesterday. If you didn't get to watch that episode, then go back and watch Have it. It's really some, good. I don't want to talk over this too much because it's, it's an Georgia incredible Stanway. reception that you guys are seeing right now. Yes, woo! We see Millie Bright. Yay! Frank Kirby. The Lionesses are in. Oh, the Lionesses are in. All right, we didn't make them miss the coach. There we go. We're now officially free from trouble because I think I've counted every single member of the squad there that's got on the coat, so. Bye. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> there we go. See? What, what's amazing? You know, it, it feels emotional I feel a little like bit. a proud mum. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It's, it's, is that weird? No, not really. Oh, okay, not okay. really, because when you when you see when you see the country come together, we spoke about it a few times. Yeah, it, it is nice, and there's a general togetherness <laughs> with this squad, and I think you'll see over the course of Lioness's life that there's there's a real team bond here. Yeah, and and I feel like this team is on the cusp of something great, and I think everyone can feel that. So. I 100% agree with you. And you know what? I feel like a proud mum, but that's probably how the nation's feeling right now. It's very exciting times. But I think we've come to the end of our Lionesses live show. I know, That's episode up. two, nearly done. But you can catch us tomorrow at 3.30 p.m. Yep. Right, All the players are going to be in Manchester, as you see. But don't worry, because we've got the insight, all right? We're going to be talking to one of the players before they head off for training. OK. Before they, they play Old Trafford. I know, which is, which is massive going to be one of the biggest games I think this country's ever seen in women's football in the UK. Mm -hmm. It's incredible, but I'm, Josh, not, I'm not going to be with you're you. Not, you're not going to be with me tomorrow, and that's really upsetting. I'm going to miss you. I know, but I won't miss next Wednesday when I'm back, and I won't yeah. miss this game for the world. And don't forget, today we're going to give you an unbelievable exclusive, okay, of Inside the Pride, which is going to debut on the England YouTube channel at 7 p.m. tonight. So enjoy. <laughs> two by three, one, two, three. I saw huge potential in this team. 
Serena's obviously come in and, you know, set a stall out early. The standard is set and, and we all know what we want to achieve. I'm in the squad. That's superb, no? Being back on the grass with the girls is just great. Woo! I think it's an exciting time to be, to be a player here. The level of the training sessions was so high because the level of this team is really high. What's so amazing about this team is that we're we're ruthless. Who will it drop to? Oh. We're not happy to settle at a 1-0, 2-0. You know, we want we want more goals. Awesome Ellen White, now the greatest ever goal scorer. To host the European Championships in England, I think it, it's gonna be an amazing occasion. It's the stuff of dreams, leading out England. We wanna make our family and friends super proud and we wanna make the country proud. Everyone's here for the trophy and that's what we're here to do. It's going to be the most incredible event that we'll never forget.